Hi, I wanted to talk to you in this session about Power Apps. Now, you might have seen the preview of it in the uh, Future of SharePoint event. Um, so I'll just quickly go through how that connects to um, SharePoint. So I've got a list here in SharePoint and it's just a, a timesheet list. So I can put in when I, when I went on site, when I left site and which site I was based at. So it's a very simple list. And I'm able to give users a better way um, of accessing this list of entering data into that list. So one of the ways to do that is to create an app using Microsoft Power Apps. So it's quite simple. It's a desktop um, software application and it's fairly simple to create one out of the box. It's a bit like InfoPath Forms, but it is different. So if I go to create a new one, I can create a SharePoint online um, mobile style app and what I do is I, I need to get the source from SharePoint so I need to find which site it's on copy that URL and then paste it into the Power App um, URL finder click go and that will give me a list of all the custom lists on the site for some reason it doesn't pick up things like announcement lists it only works with custom lists from what I could see um, but I do believe that's also going to work with other types of libraries in the future. So when we connect to it, it creates a new Power App. So Power App isn't a native mobile app, it's just a web app. So you can access it through the Power App native app on iOS and Android um, and Windows, but you'll also be able to access these apps through the SharePoint app, which will be released later this year um, and the start of next year. So when it opens up, it's a bit like um, the forms you get in SharePoint already. So you've got the all items form, you've got the display item form, and you've also got the new item form or the edit item. Across the top, you've got the insert form where you can insert new screens, so new views, um, text box buttons, things like that. Um, so you can add that extra functionality into those forms. Under design, you've got the theme that you can add, so some pre-built colored themes. Um, under content, you can connect to different data sources. Um, and under action, you've got some custom actions you could apply, such as integrated with Microsoft Flow. By pressing the play button in the top right corner, you can preview the app and this will preview it in your browser. So as you can see, that's what it looks like in a browser. And um, once you've got your app ready and you want to publish it to the other colleagues in your organization, um, you just go to the save button and you can publish this to people within your organization. You can't share it with people outside of your organization. So again, it's not a native app. It's just a web app that you create inside your Office 365 tenancy for your organization. So I'll call this one Timesheet app and save that. I'll save it to the Power Apps and again I can access this through the Power App native app for the Android and iOS um, but I can also access it just through the web browser uh, by logging into my Office 365 portal. So if I open up Office 365 you'll see that if I go to my Power Apps which you can add as a tile into Office 365 you'll get a list of all the apps that you've created for your organization and depending who you've shared it with depends which apps you'll see on your home screen. So if I click on timesheets and open that up, it opens up in the Power Player. It is a bit slow um, and also the experience isn't great at the moment. I think there's still some work from the backend teams to work on this and for tighter integration with SharePoint. You'll see that when it does load, it doesn't render dates very well. Now, I'm not sure if there's an option in Power Apps to actually change that, but I don't think there is. So it doesn't render dates. You can't see the choice drop downs when you go to the, the sites field. So out of the box, it doesn't integrate brilliantly with SharePoint straight away. Um, but I'm sure that's something that will improve over time. And when it's ready for release in SharePoint, um, you'll see some improvements on that from the Microsoft team. It looks um, an exciting prospect. It's going to be a great way of creating your custom forms, especially for mobile devices when people are out and about in your organization. So it looks very interesting and it will integrate with Microsoft Flow as well for your um, workflows and your business processes. 
I hope you found that preview of Microsoft Power Apps useful. And just check out our website if you're interested in any SharePoint or Office 365 consultancy.